amber is really different because we have a matrix structure than a regular typical top-down pyramid structure, right? So first thing is in our matrix, we have verticals. And our verticals manage all the studios and the products. And they're very, very product focused on the best quality outcome. But unique to Amber is we don't just do the products, we do the guilds. So our disciplines, right? We want to have the best discipline in the whole world for every single craft. So whether it's engineering or it's art or it's BI right? or it's uh, project management or it's even consulting on how to make a better game, each of our guilds and our discipline leaders can really train our people to do that. So because we have that, our focus is on the people. So we have the vertical structure for the product and we have the guilds for the people. Here at Amber, we have this guild structure, right? And it's very similar to the old craftsmen's, right? You wanna build your mastery. And this one thing that's very different about Amber is our vision, right? Our vision statement itself is not necessarily about the best game, it's about mastery of every discipline. So if you go back to the old guild structure where you really invest in the people and their crafts, and you wanna get better at your craft, we build a guild. And everything is through learning and development and focus on the people and having mentorships, and you really build your skill sets so that you will become the best at your craft. So with our guilds, we have that focus. Yeah, so within our guild structure, I think because our focus is on the people, and we really focus on the people, like the, the core principle of AM Amber is this humanism, right? People first, humanistic values. Uh, if we focus on the people and their own personal development, their learning and development, and really mastering their craft, then that by itself is going to give us an edge and is also going to make the product better in the end. So for my guild, um, typically in, in a lot of companies and industries, it's project management, right? But for us, we're calling it development management because it's a lot more than just execution, right? We're not just given a plan and then we go execute it, right? We have to figure things out. Everything is different. Everything is evolving. It's always changing, right? And so there's this buzzword in the world called agile, right? What is agile? It's like everything changes, right? And you have to be willing to be flexible and adapt to what those changes are. And so we have something called the Agile Development Framework, and that goes along with the typical game development framework that most studios will develop over time. But with the Agile Development Framework, what we're doing is we're combining kind of the old methodologies of a bit of traditional waterfall and milestone delivery so that there's some predictability in our, in our delivery, but the agility that we have by doing all of the agile um, frameworks that can combine, whether you're doing Kanban or you're doing very specific sprints or you're just changing at the whim, whatever it might be, we're willing to adapt. We're willing to be flexible so that we can change as our client changes, as the market changes, as the world of gaming changes. I think at the end of the day, Amber can really deliver differently because most companies, the big ones I've worked for startup.coms, big corporate companies, they just focus on just getting it out the door, right? Whether it's their own project because it's an internal project, internal IP, you just want to start making money, right? And so at some point you start making these trade-offs of, you know, quality and time, whatever, just to get it out the door and make money. But at Amber, because we're focusing on the people first, like truly, this isn't a value that's like stuck on a wall somewhere. We're living it, right? We live it and breathe it every day. So if we really invest in the people, then the people are going to make better products, right? And at the end of the day, you'll have a better product because the people have pride. They have pride, they have their own values that they put into their work, right? And so if we continue to develop their craft and we continue to develop their own uh, career development and skill sets and where they're going, we care about the person. We don't just put a person here because there's a hole. We put the person there because it's the best fit and it's what they want to do and it's what they're passionate about and what their skills can add value to. That's what's different. So I think another thing that's really great about Amber is there's a lot of us, there's a lot of us veterans that have had years. I mean, I had almost 16 years of my previous company, you know, and I've worked at several major corporate companies and a lot of the people have here, especially our leadership team. But we purposely left those nice safe worlds, right? With these like nice career changes and packages that come with it in order to go after something that really means something, right? Again, trying to create something that's different, not just making a, a company that we can build and then sell it and just go for it, right? It's like, 
We're trying to build a company with culture and people that care about what they're doing. And when we interview people, if they're not human first in the first 30 seconds of the interview, they're not getting hired. Like that's just it. We don't hire jerks, right? So we really are trying to build a company focused on the people, for the people, and with their future for themselves, right? And if we do that, the whole company is going to succeed.